Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm a part of the web team at Developer Relations. And my name is Roberto, and I'm a member of the NDK team in Developer Relations. Applications that qualify for Built for BlackBerry adhere to the quality standards of the BlackBerry 10 experience. Application performance and stability play a big role in the overall user experience and are often deciding factors in whether or not a user returns to the application. In order to meet the performance criteria, developers need to ensure bug-free operation, effortless navigation and transitions, reasonable CPU and memory consumption, as well as guarding the application from crashing. Data fetched from remote servers needs to be cached properly as to minimize unnecessary network traffic and make content more responsive. This way, users don't have to stare at a spinner and wait for the server to respond with data when they've just seen this content a few seconds ago. All applications should react to the window state changes, such as the app being minimized or the screen going to sleep. Once the application is inactive, all functionality, including network fetches, need to be kept at the minimum. Correctly handling inactive states prevents battery drain and unexpected data charges, especially since the BlackBerry 10 experience targets multitaskers who often keep applications running in the background for extended periods of time. HTML5 developers are strongly encouraged to use hardware accelerated animations to provide smooth transitions that rely on the GPU versus the CPU for graphical operations. Similarly, Cascades and native developers are encouraged to rely on hardware accelerated, multimedia, and graphics APIs. Where possible, they should leverage built-in Cascades animations to ensure smooth and efficient rendering. Native and Cascades developers have to also be conscious of their app's memory usage. Improper handling of memory allocation and deletion can result in memory leaks. These leaks can lead to application crashes, unexpected shutdowns, and poor overall system performance. We hope you found these suggestions straightforward. These are common sense guidelines, but they will go a long way to improve the performance of your Cascades, native, and web apps.